realized that a nigga was a lame. He ain't fuck with my sauce. I swear I realized that a real young age. I was meant to be a boss. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Dolph Luciano, and as you can tell by the title, it's already a banger. And if you don't know, now you know I done taught over 500, 600,000 people how to roll blunts, whether it's a blunt, a backwood, swishers, whatever. But today, we getting straight to it, and we rolling the backwood with stems, fam. First of all, what you need, some backwoods. Today, we smoking the Young Russian Creams, you feel me? We got 2.5 on the scale, you feel me? Don't ever let them niggas tell you what you gotta put in your black wood, you feel me? Your black wood, your back wood, whatever you call it, your bock wood, you feel me? Your bock wood. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. There's one going right here, one going up here. I mean, if you watch my other video, you won't be able to roll it like I showed you. So first we're gonna start by licking the back wood. If you haven't broke down your back wood already, make sure you do that. First time I use Hennessy, you feel me? I ain't got no Hennessy today, so we gotta use the saliva method. Really? Now, sometimes I recommend water, but I ain't got water on site. And we gotta roll it, we in the car, we in the backwoods. We had, you know what I mean? We trying to hear if we get a little backwood in before we go to this festival. Feel me? Gonna lick it. Not too much, you don't wanna get it too wet, see? It's not too wet, but you wanna bring it back to life of yours, cracking a little bit. So now that we got that lick, much you wanna bust the weed down, so. Let's get it. Bust it down, bust it down. I don't like to make it too shaky, but I like to leave it a nugs. Nug shake. Nug shake if that makes sense. So you gonna bust that down. And it's easier, just leave it a nug. Don't make it too shaky, because it's hard to stick once it's all grainy. So we're gonna bust that down. Give me a second to bust this down. Make sure you pull off all stems and sticks off the corner of your weed. Make sure you crack those off. So you can bust this weed down. Bam, 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 bam. You see it's starting to expand already. But I'm going to show y'all. Y'all do not need 3.5. Roll it back a little. Remember what I said, don't break it down into shake, but you want to put it in shake nugs, right? Remember to leave at least one big bud to put at the back of your blood. And I'm going to say this one right here. You know, this home. You'll see how big that is? That's how big you need, just enough to seal it back. Squeeze that, round that out. Put all your weeds in. But once you finish breaking down the weed, you're going to make sure you distribute your, you know what I mean, your medicine through the blunt, through the back wood. Evenly. And it's a catch. You want to line up your weed on how these stems are going. So my stems are going a little more that way. So we're going to line it up diagonal this way. Bam. You're going to line it up diagonal. See this? Bam. You distribute that evenly. Bam, sit that in there, and then you go cock it. You see? See how that cock over like that? You that that weed. You see it? Now you don't. You see it? Now you don't. You see how that disappear like that? So you gonna pull that over, and you gonna hold the end like this. You see? I can hold that end like that. Bam. And this is how most people roll back wood that you will see. You gonna cock that over, and you see the stem disappear. This first stem you really don't gotta worry about, but make sure you flip that down. And you check on this side, bam, bam. See, this at this point is when I use my scissors. Make sure you grab some scissors, bam. You see how I just split that, bam, bam. Now it's easier to tuck this under here. Now you can tuck that boy. You feel me? Now you can tuck that boy. But as you can see, you got this extra leaf sticking up. So you wanna trim that a little bit. Don't tell. Don't let nobody tell you fuck up your lawn. Don't let nobody tell you mess up your lungs. Cause they, don't, they say you're not supposed to trim back wood, you're supposed to fill them up. Well, we ain't got enough weed to put in there today. You feel me? Man, it's your personal preference. You ain't got to trim it. But I recommend trimming it. It doesn't have a cleaner smoke. If you ever felt like backwoods was harsh, and because it was too much paper left, you ain't have enough weed or you ain't trim it good enough. So once it's distributed evenly, you print it off, it's, it's cocked. You know what I mean? We got stems. The stem, the second stem right here is still sticking up. But you're gonna come, you're gonna put your stick your tongue up in that thing. 
you're gonna stick your tongue up in that thing. You're gonna lick, put your tongue in, use your lip to pull over and seal. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seal. Tongue, lick, tongue, stick, tongue, seal. You feel me? Then you're gonna move over a little bit more. Bam. Then you're gonna move over once again. You want your shit to be fat and you don't want it to be skinny and not even so you're gonna keep on pushing it back over. Don't pack it too tight because you don't you want your backwood to hit. You want it to be a perfect backwood. So don't tuck it too tight. Okay, now you don't see the weed is even. You're gonna stick your tongue up in that thing, stick your tongue in to tuck it and use your lip to seal it. So stick your tongue up in that thing. With you rolling it in that angle, it's gonna allow you to let the stem stick now. Bam. I usually hold it like that to hold that so it's easier to tuck. And you're gonna stick your tongue up in that thing. Yeah. And with the end, you just do the thing and make it flat. And bam. That's how you roll the backwood. That's how you roll the perfect backwood. I usually get my scissors, chop that front off, and chop that back off. Now look, you got a, you got a backwood. That motherfucker nice, ain't it, y'all? Motherfucker nice. That uncrustable. Peanut butter jelly time, baby. Peanut butter jelly time, baby. Let's do the hit test so I can show you all this motherfucker hit right. Feel me? So we sparking up the backwood. Here on Smoker with Dolph, we famous for the hit test, so I gotta make sure y'all know. You know what I mean? This motherfucker hit. A big backwood. Shout out to my hype light. Oh, you know how I be, the torch and the whip. Oh, Mary Jane. Let's go ahead and hit this thing, man. Got a nice little cherry on that thing. Hold on, my heat on. My heat on, fam. Had to turn the heat off real quick for y'all. That's how you roll the perfect backwood, man. That's how you roll the motherfucker perfect backwood. <coughs> perfect backwood. <laughs> Somebody go spell it and want to hit it. Bro, you want to hit this motherfucker? Too bad. Ah man, if you learn how to roll it back with man, make sure y'all subscribe. It's your boy Big Dog Luciano. You didn't know, now you know. Tell your mama, your daddy, your mama, your granny, your auntie, your pastor, your cousin, your teacher, teacher's aide. Uh, shit, fuck it. Tell Miss Parker. Tell Miss Johnson. Tell Miss Stacy, you know what I mean? Because a bunch of y'all haven't been telling y'all mama come watch the big dog one, you know what I mean? We love mamas over here. But for real, man, appreciate y'all tuning in. It's another banger. You know what I mean? How to roll it back with stems and make sure y'all subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell because, you know what I mean? This is where we got bangers at. You know what I mean? Hit that subscribe button so you can become part of the cash crew, man. Gang, we gone. Woo. Like the government got a text and need to play his ex matter. Ex matter, I know it's cash, man. I swear I got a habit. My phone like a genie, make a wish, and I'm a ladder. Before you see that bag, better wrap it up a flash. Get five, get a number, give a touch, then I'll smash it.